today I am talking about the Clark's Wallaby. I got my first pair back in the mid 90s. I've had a pair in rotation ever since. The first boot that I would have, you know, saved up my paper route money for would have been Doc Martens, but uh, you know, not long after that, I discovered the Clark's Wallaby and just absolutely fell in love with the unique design. Uh, and like I said, I've been wearing them ever since. From what I've read, the conceptualization of the Wallaby began way back in the 1880s, but it wasn't actually released until the 60s. Uh, you know, in the 1950s, they developed the crepe sole, and then about 10 years after that. Uh, they released the first Wallaby. There was some um, connection to German shoemaking with the Sioux boot and uh, releasing this under the Clark's name as the Wallaby. Um, but yeah, well, not until the 1960s that we actually saw these on the market. It's such a classic design. You know, you've got everyone from Method Man to Walter White rocking a pair of these. Uh, it's really unique. It's a mock toe design, but with a two eye chukka style upper and the crepe sole, it really makes it an original. They sit in between that category where they can be dressed up to a point, maybe, you know, short of a suit for sure, but definitely would work with slacks and a blazer. They can also be dressed down with jeans and a t-shirt, which as you can guess is how I wear these. That's my typical, you know, casual wear. The Wallaby is going to run anywhere from around 175 to 200 bucks Canadian, which is right around the same as another classic, the Clark's Desert Boot. In terms of sizing, I found for me they work best true to size. I'm a 9E, double E, Brannock, and I wear a size 9 in the Clark's Wallaby. I know some people will go half size down, um, say they fit a little bit large, but for me I have found going true to size works best. Thankfully, they're super popular and they sell them all over the place, so you won't have any issues finding a store to try these on to make sure you get the best fit. As mentioned, they're built on a crepe sole, made from a natural latex, harvested from rubber trees. The construction method is an interesting combination of cement construction and a stitched construction. There is a base layer of material here that you can see that is cemented and stitched to the upper. And then you have this wedge piece, which has a foam interior that's then glued to that base layer. And then uh, also that final piece of crepe that's cemented on as well. So interesting construction makes it a real pain to, to resole. So you're gonna have a real tough time finding somebody that's gonna do that job for you. It is just super comfortable underfoot. It's not overly supportive if you have high arches like I do. So. I can't usually wear these for an entire day if I'm gonna be walking around a lot or on my feet a lot, but as you can see in this brown Chrome XL pair, I've got some orthotic inserts in there to help with that. The leather from the upper wraps under the foot, so your foot is supported by a nice leather footbed with a heel to arch support for additional comfort and support as well. There is a cellulose heel counter with a leather heel pocket liner to make it more durable the two-piece uppers are made from really nice high-quality leathers from tanneries like Horween. Uh, you know, the two pairs I've got here are from the Horween tannery or that classic suede model uh, coming from CF Stead. So really high-quality components. I also like how they construct the two-piece upper with the vamp folded over. It's a small detail, but it looks great and keeps that mock toe nice and tidy. The collar is reinforced with leather. Just another one of the great details that make it not just a cool shoe or boot, but also a well-made shoe uh, that's way more durable than you'd imagine. So those are the Clark's Wallabies. I did put a link in the description in case you're looking to purchase some online. An incredibly comfortable boot, well-made from high quality components, an absolute icon. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Mm -hmm.